So what do I have today? I want you to picture this. You're traveling to some place, you're on the train, on the bus or whatever. Nevertheless, you have some time to kill. You want to play some games, right? So what do you do? You take out your phone. You take out your phone, you download a bunch of games, you start playing it, but within 30 minutes, one hour, your battery is almost dead. How do you get by this? Well, today, it's this. But you were thinking it's some sort of battery pack, but no, no, this is something else. This is a lot more interesting. This is the SUP Game Box, 400 in one, apparently. So this Game Boy looking thing <laughs> has 400 games built inside. There's no, you know, there's no games you have to slot in. There's no memory card you have to put in. It's all inbuilt and it's got 400 classic games inside. So that sounds pretty damn decent. I mean, the actual picture of it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like a Game Boy. So if it's anything like a Game Boy, then you know it's gonna be quite decent to play on. But let's crack it open. Let's take a look, shall we? So you have a USB cable, pretty standard, that's to charge it. You get a battery. So this is a uh, 1020 milliamp, 3.7 volt battery. So pretty standard stuff. This is the sort of type of battery you'd get on an old, old Nokia phone, you know, back in the day. So very familiar with them. Ah, you get a cable where you can plug it into your TV, now it's not HDMI, but you nevertheless, you can still plug it into your TV. However, that cable is suspiciously short. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of pointless if you are gonna plug it into the TV because you're basically gonna to have to stand right by your TV in order to play it. So, but you know what, we'll, we'll give that a test as well. We'll see how it looks like on the TV. Instruction manual, standard stuff and well, now I wasn't sure if it's gonna have branded games or if it's gonna be knockoff versions of branded games. You know what I mean. So instead of Super Mario, you have Super Matthew or some crap like that, you know? Or Super Jumping Plumber. <laughs> but uh, in the instruction manual, they do have the legit Super Mario on the actual Game Boy device itself. So hopefully we actually have some legit real games. And on the back side, you have the Game Boy itself. I shouldn't say Game Boy, but I'm gonna call it a Game Boy because let's face it, I mean, come on. They want you to call it a Game Boy. They don't want you to call it Super Game 401 or whatever hell it was printed on the packaging. They want you to call it a Game Boy. So that's what I'm gonna call it from now on. Let's install the battery. First impressions, by the way, it feels very cheap, I'm gonna be honest. Very, very cheap in the way it feels. The plastic is extremely light, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it doesn't have to have really durable, heavy plastic. Um, it can have lightweight plastic, and at the end of the day, it's a portable device. So, you know, you don't want something that's really heavy bulking you down. So, I'm not gonna say that's a bad thing. Um, on the outside, you've got the on-off switch, you've got the charging port, and unfortunately, although it looks like a, although it looks like a headphone jack, unfortunately, it's not a headphone jack. It's actually just a plug into the TV. There is no headphone jack on this device, but you do have a volume rocker. So if you are in public and you're pissing people off, um, you can always, you know, put down the put down the volume to mute. Otherwise, if you're at home, you know, put it on full blast. So let's put the battery in. Now I did pre-charge the battery, so it should boot up. Let's take a look. Very retro. That full volume. Right, so let's select English. All right. Woo, okay. So these are all the titles. So you're greeted with the main menu. You have Super Mario, 
Apparently it's the legit one. I mean, you got 400 in here, so I'm not gonna scroll through all of them. That's a good retro noise, I like that. It's almost... You can make a beat out of that. Four hundred titles. Four hundred retro titles. Well, let's hit Super Mario first because, come on, I mean, <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's all about retro games. You have to click Super Mario, right? All right, let's do this. So, start. That looks pretty, pretty legit. Let's play it. Let's please have the theme tune. Yes. Oh, it's the proper Super Mario. You know what? Playing it on here is not bad. Oh, I'm dead. That actually was a decent experience. I mean, th th that's like playing the proper Super Mario. I mean, it is the proper Super Mario on this knockoff Game Boy device that, by the way, by the way, cost me $12. This was under 10 pounds. This was like nine pounds 30 delivered, something like that. So it's about $12 delivered. 400 retro games, a practically a Game Boy. You know, let's be real. This is a Game Boy, basically. Um, 400 titles for $12. Now, I'm not into retro games, but at that price, I think I can get on board with the whole retro gaming thing because that is pretty damn decent. I mean, you could you could keep this anywhere and just you know have it wherever you're wherever you're bored. You know, you just just play a few games and it and it stops you from wasting the battery on your phone. That's really what it is. Let's face it, no one wants to have anything under 20% battery on your phone. So, and this thing this could be a lifesaver. All right, so we checked out Super Mario. Let's go ahead and check out, uh, let's put the sound up. Let's check out other games. What the hell is Dr. Mario? Is that a legit game or is that a knockoff? All right, well, there's definitely nothing to do with Super Mario. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, so it's kind of a, it's a Tetris type game. I don't, I don't get the objective. It wasn't the best game in the world. All right, let's have a look. Contra, Cage, Jackal, Russian attack, not Russian, as in rush and attack. Chipdale, Robocop. Got to play Robocop. Let's. Love, you know, I would buy it just for the old theme tunes. Oh, why does it not have a headphone jack? I, I seriously, even if you don't care about games, buy this just for the old theme music. Seriously, that is what... This is not a Game Boy, this is an MP3 player. <laughs> not MP3, this is a MIDI player, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, let's play, let's play a bit of Robocop. Punch! Punch! Punch, punch, punch! Da -da -da -da. Punch! So we played a bit of Robocop, Spider-Man, I mean you've got Aladdin, I mean I don't recognise half these titles but I'm sure a lot of them, chess, you can even play chess, so even if you're, even if you know the old retro games are not your style, Chess is a game I think a lot of people can get down with, even no matter what generation you're from, chess is a classic board game. Donkey Kong, 
Gotta love Donkey Kong. Should we play Donkey Kong? Let's, let's check how Donkey Kong is. Oops, what have I done? Nope, there we go. Alright. Yeah, well, let me play. Oh, uh, it's proper classic Donkey Kong. Fun fact, that is actually the character Super Mario. How do I... There we go. So that's actually Super Mario before he be, before he fought mushrooms. Do you know how historic this game is? This isn't this is I think people forget how historic that game is. That is such a classic. That's amazing. I love that. I gotta say, for $12, this is this has met my expectations. And the screen itself. Don't get me wrong, it's not going to win any awards, but the screen itself is, is decent enough to enjoy these games, even with this bright LED light. I've got LED light above me, two beside me. It, it's... I mean, sure, I can see a bit of reflection, but the screen itself is pretty damn good. I mean, even the camera can pick it up quite well. That's really impressive. You've got F1 race, golf, ice climber. I've never heard half of these. Magic Jewelry, Mappy, <laughs> Ninja, Pac-Man, let's, let's try out Pac-Man, let's play Pac-Man and then we'll call it a day, alright? That, okay, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not Pac-Man. <laughs> that's a pinball game, did I click pinball? It said Pac-Man! Maybe... There's a version before Pac-Man became Pac-Man, you know, the burp, burp, burp. Before that, maybe it was a pinball game. I don't know, maybe, uh, or I think maybe they got the title wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but nevertheless, I'm pretty sure that the real Pac-Man, the one you want to play, is on this, most likely. I mean, out of the 400, what are the chances Pac-Man's going to be on there? Of course it'll be on there. What I do want to test on it is just a TV. Before I give my verdict, I am going to test it on an actual TV screen. How does it how does it look like on a TV screen? Does it work? I'm sure it will work, but can you actually play it on your TV? That's basically the question. So let's hook it up and I'll show you in a second. The quality isn't great. I mean, it's not designed really to be played on a TV screen, but if you really want to, there's no reason why you can't. Like I said, the cable's a bit short for it, but you can do it. I mean, yeah, it works. This thing, my verdict. Yeah, $12. I mean, it's, it's, look, this thing would sell really well. If you put it as any supermarket, you know, by the checkout, where you're checking out, you're putting all your, all your stuff on the conveyor belt, one of these by the checkout $12 you know 400 retro games in one that will sell like hotcakes because you can't argue with that if you're into it how many people do you know who are into retro gaming I mean there's there's loads of people who were born in the 80s 90s even 70s 60s whatever who grew up with these type of games and to play them today you even need an emulator which okay sure is very easy to get but it's it's kind of going out your way to do it you know you have to download software and and whatnot and then no one really wants to play on their on their laptop and sure uh, you can get it on android phones these days but again you're wasting your battery your phone has got so many things it can do and it's kind of your phone is your central hub of your connectivity to the outside world these days you know you've got everyone on your phone and you don't really you're not really going to use it to play retro games. I mean, that's, that's at least in my opinion. Other people may be different, but in my opinion, I don't really use my phone for gaming. For retro gamers, you could really, you know, you could be entertained for many hours and it's $12. If it was $30, I would say, uh, well, unless you're really into retro gaming, get it. But for $12, you can't, you can't argue. There's, there's nothing you can say Oh, it, this is rubbish. I mean, sure, it's not great. It's badly built. I'll give you that. There should be a headphone jack, but there isn't. But who cares? It's $12 and you've got 400 games. You can't argue with that. So I will leave a link to this in the description. 
pick it up, honestly. I think you will enjoy it. I think if you're into retro gaming in any way, shape or form, or you just want to play a few classic games, this is the device to do it on. You don't need to buy any more expensive branded. You don't need to buy any one with Bluetooth enabled and Wi-Fi connected. Forget all the crap. At the end of the day, this is what it's about. You know, you've got a device, you've got a few buttons, simple control buttons, you've got an on off switch, a charging port and all the games. That's what else do you need? A headphone jack would be nice, but that's about it. You know, you don't need anything else. So all in all, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for its price. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Otherwise, I'm gonna come out with loads more videos of stuff like this, whether it be gaming or just random other tech or interesting stuff that you may not have seen. If you wanna see more of that kind of stuff, then please do subscribe. Also hit that notification button. YouTube hates my channel for some reason and they just refuse to put my videos in front of my subscribers. So you'd really help me out if you were hitting that notification button. Um, if you're new to the channel, do hit it because you won't miss any of my videos and future uploads. So I'd really appreciate that. But otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, feed your mind.